wanted to do a quick review on a palette I purchased from Colourpop. It's called the Uh Huh Honey Eyeshadow Palette, and it is a collection of gorgeous yellows. There's a glitter in here. There's some shimmers in here. Very beautiful palette. There's also other items in this collection. There's glitters, there's skincare, and I can't, I can't think of everything else that's in that collection, but I do know the entire collection is available on ColourPop. So I got this palette because I was just in love with the yellows. Yellow is one of my favorite colors and I thought this was going to be gorgeous for the summertime. I have never been disappointed by any of Colourpop's eyeshadows. I think they have great products. Sorry for that noise guys. I don't know what's going on outside. But this palette was a disappointment. Unfortunately, I did not get very much pigmentation from this palette and which that really surprised me because usually Colourpop eyeshadows are just you get what you 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 what you purchase from them is always worth the money colors that i did use in this palette were buzz peel and i thought this would have been an awesome transition shade and i also use ob ob haze so this is this one right here, a very vibrant yellow. And I also used Palooza, which is this glitter. And just so you know, this glitter is not supposed to be eye safe. You use this at your own risk. And those are the three shades that I use on this eye. Um, and on camera, it seems to look okay, but I was hoping that it would be more vibrant, more opaque, better color payoff. But to get this this shade here, I had to really work. So I restarted this applying these eyeshadows. The first thing I used was my Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. Usually I never have any issues with this primer. It did not work at all. I still didn't get the color payoff that I wanted. I also used my MAC Ochre, um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. That was just a complete disaster. It, The paint pot, for some reason, applied kind of chalky. I don't know what it was going on with that, but I'm not going to blame the eyeshadow on that because I think the, the actual texture of the paint pot kind of messed up everything. Work, what worked the best was the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and the shade that I used was Medium Dark 32, and I just used this as an all-over base for my eyeshadow. Even though I use this, it still, to me, I just had to work too hard to get any pigmentation. It, it was, it just, to me, this, this palette was, was a disappointment. It just did not, you know, it just was nothing like I thought it would be. I also noticed that a few people um, mentioned that there was another lady online that mentioned that the, the, color payoff was just not there so I don't think I'm the only one who noticed that and I've also noticed that on YouTube not too many people of color are reviewing this particular palette and I don't know if I just missed it or I just haven't came across those particular videos but I haven't seen many dark skin brown skin ladies reviewing this palette and I'm wondering if that's because the quality of these shadows so I did this I look here and I just started it off and like I said, I used the ColourPop concealer. I used that, that pretty yellow shade, um, OB Have, and I also topped it with the Palooza Eye Glitter. And it looks okay. I think it looks very pretty on camera. It's just not the color payoff that I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my left eye. And I just want you to see exactly what I noticed when I applied these eyeshadows and um, I'm hoping that anyone out there who has purchased this if you can give me a review or leave a comment below letting me know what your experience was with, with this particular palette because I'm very curious to see if anyone else have noticed the um, issues that I've noticed with this palette. So I already have my brows done. I have my foundation placed. And the, but that, just so you'll know, the foundation that I used was the Healthy Foundation. And the shade is DPW2. And that's the foundation that I use. I really like this. This is a great drugstore foundation. 
the only thing is I do find it to be more on the orange side but other than that it's an awesome foundation that you can buy from the drugstore all right so I'm going to go in with this uh, this uh, concealer no filter concealer and I'm going to place that all over my eye and I'm going to blend that out with my real techniques Sponge, and it's one of the miniature sponges that they offer you I think you can get this in like a two pack but I love this for applying foundation well not foundation but concealer under my eyes and for blending out my nose contour and all that stuff so I'm just going to blend this concealer out and as you can see I'm getting it all over my under eye but I will correct that later on so I have my concealer already applied and I'm going to go in with that beautiful yellow shade which is the Old Behave and using my Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush and as you can see I still have it stained with the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and pack this on my eyelid. So I don't know if I'm, it's just me just being picky and I'm not really a picky person but I don't know it just looks like looking at it in person it just doesn't have the pigmentation that I think I thought it would have. I'm going to go in with my Buzzkill that shade right here and I am using a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to buff that into my crease. And for some reason, this shape tends to just disappear. I don't know what happens to it. Even when I try packing it on, I don't really see it. I don't know. I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm going to place that right in the middle of my eyelid to prepare for placing that glitter. And like I said, that glitter is gorgeous. I really like it, but... Um, it is not it's not supposed to be eye safe so just be careful if you do decide to get this palette using my Smashbox smudger brush I'm going to pick up this glitter with this and place it in the middle of my eye and of course the NYX glitter glue picks up this glitter right up Okay, now that I'm looking in the camera at this, it really does look pretty. And this is a very simple look that I did with this palette. And I haven't used the other shades in it yet, but I really like this. And um, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and place some lashes. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have my lashes applied. I have my lipstick on. And I will leave a list of the other additional items that I used on my face. But now that I have it, you know, the whole face completed, um, it still looks good. It's just that, I don't know, it's just I wish that the eyeshadow was a little bit more pigmented. And I know I keep saying that over and over again, but um, I guess I was hoping that it would be something like Juvia's Place with their eyeshadows. It's like... You don't have to really, you know, use a lot of base or anything like that. You just pick it up, place the eyeshadow, and there you go. You got your, your color. But this palette, like I said, does take a little bit of work. Um, I am very interested to see how everybody else is faring with this particular palette. Do you find that it's difficult to apply or that it's not as pigmented as you want it to be? Like I said, I do think that this particular look that I did looks good. I think the glitter really does make this look. I think that if I did not apply the glitter that it would not be as bold or as noticeable um, without it. So just let me know what you think about it. I think it's a pretty good, I like the glitter. And um, of course, if you don't like glitter, just skip that part. But 
please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the look. Let me know what you think about the palette. And um, if you don't mind, subscribe and catch my next video soon. Bye.